you and your free friends Come link with us for the weekend Them man pre us, we don't pre them My don't finesse it in Sweden Us man are down in the DM My don't finesse it in Sweden Hey, feel it up with no feeling What's going on everyone? Are we having a nice? Of course we are, come on man. FA Cup weekend and this is comments below. The show you leave your comments below. You know, last week you left comments and now we're gonna speak about them and, and this week's football. Yeah, I think I uh, having to explain this every single and time. And I think I am David Vianic. Yes. And I, I believe you are. Well, I should be poet. My name should be on the flipping bottom of this thing. If it's not, I'll tell you what, the editor is getting fired. Fired. Moving on, we've got Down Under Gaming. Everybody, have a nice today. Ah, oh, have a nice. The cheeky gang. <laughs> and Stella Dryhurst says, Dryhurst. Hey guys, Jeez. it's my boyfriend Z's 22nd birthday. My like Z. Oh, Brrr. Brrr. And I was just wondering <laughs> if you could give him a happy birthday. He's followed you from the beginning and always watches the show. Thanks a lot. Z! Happy birthday to ya, happy birthday to ya, happy birthday. So Let's start cool. off on Friday where uh, West Ham got battered. <laughs> battered. Absolutely battered. Cod and batter. <laughs> they came through Westfield, bought a couple bits, went Matalan, got a lamp and put five past West Ham. They even, <laughs> they even bought that, that perfume in Hollister. Or it's bare dark and that just got the hot five nil. I saw reports coming out in the media saying Man City are back to their best. I don't think you I'd can say really say you're back bit. to your best. Chill out a little bit. Oh, just Miller, there's letter playing hold in mid. It's quite you know in innovative, which you have to give it to Pep. But once again, let's not start branding it an amazing genius move because it was West Ham and they're playing in the Yokohama Stadium right now. It's fits 100,000 people and there's like 50,000 registered fans. <laughs> it just doesn't make sense. And did you see the goals? All right, penalty, fair enough. The second goal, an own goal. The third goal from David Silva. He had so much time in the box, he could have fucking got substituted, warmed up again, <laughs> come back on, and still had time to And headed it in, like on the floor. It, in. It, just, it, it's just, it was an absolute monstrosity of a home performance in the FA Cup. West Ham showed no heart, no commitment. No. And personally, if they continue to play like that throughout the rest of the season, they're gonna have to get relegated. They're gonna have a bad. Leave a comment, let us know what you think. I personally feel sorry for my mate, Reece so Oxford. I. Um, I, like, I mean, I like West Ham, are an iconic club, and to see this this poor season, it is a bit hurtful. I like, I like well, do you want Slav and Billy Chow? Because this is a little bit ludicrous. This is a little bit ludicrous, mate. I don't understand why this is happening. Let's move from one Manchester club to another. Manchester United, clean sheet, four goals. Rooney Martial and Rashford picking up two of the easiest Mad. goals he will all Mad. season. Uh, Wayne Rooney tweets, I find it amazing that I equal Sir Bobby Charlton's record and this is the headline in the mail. Now, I'm not quite sure what the headline is per se, but I can tell you that it was about him not swapping a fucking shirt. And he gave it in the end anyway. He gave it in the end, the guy tweeted it as it's well. He's breaking records though. I mean, guy's breaking records for Manchester United. You're talking about arguably the biggest club in the Premier League. What is it with Rooney though? No, no, but, but like the mail, instead of saying, you know, but it's the day Wayne mail. Rooney, you yeah, know, like the, it's tabloid, without it's the daily, shit. like with the Daily Mail, me and you wouldn't be in this country right now. This would be presented by Rory and <laughs> and Timzy and Timzy. No, maybe not even Timzy. No, he's Korean. Korean. Maybe someone know, like you know. Steve. Hi guys, welcome to Comics Below. I don't know, just this guy called Steve. Uh, Blonde yep. hair, I fucking Steve Cheshire. Man, yep, yep. Steve or the Batman, he's black. You can't really quote the Daily Mail on anything. You just got to ignore that. But I, I do feel him. Maybe he's feeling a bit. Disrespect him. He's a striker. Because he got fat. Yeah, he got fat. He started drinking. He's fucking... Shagging he's grannies. Grannies. He's, he's, he's out at four o'clock in the morning after an England game. He doesn't make it easy on himself. Nah. If he was a little bit like a couple other professionals, you don't really hear about it in the press. You just do their job, go on, pull skulls. I never even heard him speak till nah, he was about 35. No, nope. Like, Wayne Rooney, me personally, I just think he came in the spotlight really, really early. Really, really young. Really early, I guess. 16 Arsenal. years old. Bang it past David Seaman. As time's gone on, he's just got worse and worse and worse. And what he should have been doing was getting better and better and better. So now he's giving the press excuses and reasons to start talking about everything else apart yeah. from football. Because if we're being honest, Wayne Rooney, yes, you've broken a record, but in the past two, three years, your footballing... Hasn't been great. It hasn't been good. The next game's mud. Liverpool United, come on, you red men! So you spoke about Rooney. Oh, yeah. 
equaling the record. Indeed. He has the opportunity to break the record this Sunday against Liverpool at Old Trafford. I believe 4pm kickoff. It's Allow a massive it. game. Chill. Over the years, I think it's sort of declined a little bit. But now when you've got Klopp as gaffer of Liverpool, Jose Mourinho at Manchester United, you've got top players like Pogba, Ticatinos and so on and so forth. Le at clubs. Mate. And he's back. This game here. Mad! Like last season you lost 3 1 Benteke. Yeah. Was, it was like, we did, but then we, we beat them in the Europa League quite convincingly over two ties. And that was really good. So I'm asking you right now, yeah. on Sunday, oh. with Klopp, oh, after you beat Man City you know a couple what? weeks ago, can you beat United you know at what? Old Trafford? This game right now is a season changer. An absolute season changer for both teams. This is a massive game. It's a six pointer. A hundred percent. So if we can crack them early, I think we'll win. If not, they might nick it. Are Liverpool going to be intimidated by Zlatan and the Pogba's and so on and so forth? I don't think they are. I don't you think Liverpool care. You reckon we'll win? I reckon it's a draw. I don't know. Like Zlatan's are going to be a big, a big part of the game. You know, he's, he's a top striker. He's got a lot of goals this season. Um, and the Rooney thing, the Rooney's trying to make his record. I think he's going to be trying extra hard as well. If Liverpool have a good opening 10, 15 minutes yeah. and they press uh, Liverpool and Manchester United quite hard, the crowd's going to get on their back. Mm. Like Obviously, Zlatan's played in big games before. Pogba's played in big games before. The top professionals, but Man United and Liverpool, as just the spark has been reignited again. And in my, in my eyes, personally, I only see a draw. A draw game, innit? I see a draw game. I don't really see Man, Man United winning. I don't know. Take, I don't it, know. take it to the fans. Comments below, people. Not even fans, just human beings. What do you reckon? Man United, Liverpool, who can top that? Will Rooney break his record? Can Liverpool edge it and just keep in that title race? Keep that pressure on Chelsea. All right, let's move on to a team I support and I'm not too fond of. As of recent, mm -hmm. Preston North End losing 2-1 to a team called Arsenal. Well, I mean, Giroud has been, has been scoring. Forget Giroud, just read the comment. William oh, Keelan, Giroud scoring a score thing against Crystal Palace. The equaliser at Bournemouth and the winner at Preston. Giroud is on a mad thing. But yeah, Giroud. I can't get gassed about a striker who's played in the final of the Euros scoring against Preston. Bored mouth. Crystal Palace. Those are three awful clubs. I wouldn't go Preston on a good day bad day or any other day. Crystal Palace is where Crepton Conan are from. Mm. I have no business over there. I went there one time, almost got rubbed. I don't want to go there no more. The Manchester United goal was incredible and he has scored important goals this season, but like, I, just, I still don't think he's good enough. I genuinely do not think he's good enough. I just think yeah. Olivier Giroud, he reminds me of Mario Jardel back in the day for Porto. He's going to score you a bag of goals maybe, but I tell you what, his contribution in an overall 90 minutes is Basically nothing. And like you know, you went behind and then you have to bring it back. Uh, you dipping in form a little bit? Is it it's looking a bit weird? Um, and it was a good team you put out. It wasn't like a second string team. Preston were just up for it. They mm. were so so up for it. What you expect is the FA Cup. There's always upsets, but the only time we've been beaten by lower league opposition under Wenger, I believe, was when Colin scored for Blackburn oh, at man. Emirates. I was there as well. Oh. So I always knew we were going to win the game. It's just a bit upsetting to watch Arsenal struggle against Preston North End. Like, I couldn't even name you one player. There was a comment you were going to read out about Meza Ozil, which is pretty interesting. Do you have to go um, for it? Please do. Pai, would like to know your opinion as a fellow Arsenal fan. Ozil, on his contract situation, said, the club knows that I'm here most of all because of Arsene Wenger. He's the one who signed me and he's the one who trusts I have. The club also knows that I want to be clear what the manager is going to do in the future. Question, do you think it is fair for players to have an opinion on the manager's future? He plays for Arsenal's football club and not for Wenger. What if Tony Adams and Ian Wright said that they would say if stay if George Graham stayed? PS have a nice. Um, George Graham is not a great manager, so the reason why you would stay for George Graham is somewhat beyond me. You can't compare George Graham to Arsene Wenger. That doesn't make sense. George Graham did not revolutionise the way Arsenal play football. He did not revolutionise the football club. Into he didn't do fuck all for Arsenal really, apart from play boring football, get a couple one nils, and win some cups. What Arsene Wenger has done for Arsenal is complete. Madness. He's given birth to Arsenal to a certain extent. He's made Arsenal he's come named from after a, Arsenal. He's, not, he's like, named after Arsenal. 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 I, I genuinely don't know a man called Arsenal. And he then went to manage Arsenal. It was written in the stars. Mesut Ozil. Yeah. Have a I'll nice. accept it. I think he's going to leave. He's going to leave? I think Arsenal Wenger's probably his last season. Raw. And I think Mesut Ozil's going to leave as well. That's going to be a scary time for you, Paul. What? Sanchez may be leaving, Ozil leaving. I don't think Sanchez will leave though. No. I think Ozil will leave and I think Arsene Wenger will leave and, and then I have to question where That is mad. Here. That is like, you like when my dad left my life for the first time, I was baffed. I was like, whoa. Do you know what's so mad? All these mad. Arsenal fans are like, oh, Mesut Ozil, get rid of him. Arsene Wenger, get rid of him. I promise you. Well, I don't promise you because I don't know anything in life. I just have opinions. I genuinely believe when Arsene Wenger leaves Arsenal, we're going to go through the same decline as Manchester United. 
the exact same decline. I don't know. Let's take it to the people. Comments below. Our audience, the wonderful viewers, what do you think? Arsenal, when they lose Arsenal, Wenger and Ursel, will they decline like Man United? Can they win a, ch a title this, this year? No. And what do you think of Sanchez's situation? There's a lot going on and, and everything with the fans and everything, so let's move on. Daniel says, today's <laughs> LFC lineup is the Ooh. youngest ever in the club's history, an average age of just 21 years old and 296 Dang. Wow, that's a young squad. That can barely get into a club in America. Ended nil-nil. Didn't watch the game. Turned it on for five minutes, so I went, <laughs> I'm not watching this. <laughs> 21 years, the average age. You know, it genuinely, that game, I big up everybody that went. I, I for one, just took it as a break of football. We've got a very stressful, <laughs> we've got a stressful period to come. We've got Southampton in the cup on Wednesday. We have to rest some players, of course. Why not rest some players? I don't give a shit. As long as we're trying to perform and, 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 and tac tactically make the season work, we rest play, give the kids a fucking chance. And they didn't really do much. I mean, it was nil nil against Plymouth Fargal. They got a boat on their badge. You know, I've, that's just, there's just nothing really. There's nothing really I could say right now apart from I agree with resting players. Tell Audience, us what you think? Do you know what that game was so boring? I feel, there's nothing so to like, say. Don't, do say. Don't leave a comment. <laughs> leave, leave a, a comment. comment. Nothing happened. It was just like whoop, a blip. All right, let's talk about some other things that happen in the world of football. We've got a comment here from mm. The Assassin who says, Juan Mata is one of the most underrated players in the league, never spoken about. Hashtag world, world class. class. And that's got 475 likes. Now, unless that man has made 475 accounts, I can account that that is a very liked comment. I reckon that is 470 Man United fans and the other five are just Juan Mata's cousins. It's just an absolute joke. If Juan Mata's world class, Jesus Christ. Hey, look, mate. goals 25, assists 15 from Football Facts on Twitter. <laughs> and um, Rooney has 46. And that, uh, Sorry, only Rooney has been involved in more than that matter. Yeah, but then you take a look at that since he's come. Man United have finished seventh, fucking fifth and fourth. If we start comparing them stats to, I don't know, some of the teams that have won Premier Leagues or won Cups and so on and so forth, he won't really be high at the pecking order. One matter is not world class. I think he's amazing. That's I think he's player. a great player. But he's not world class. It's not... That level where I'd put him up there with your Ronaldo's, Messi's and, and, and Neuer's in goal, Lewandowski's, you know, he's, he's close, but I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put him, I wouldn't like pick him in my dream yeah. squad in, in any sense of a realm. Of life. All right, let's talk about the whole city meltdown. We're talking Man. about a club. Terry Phelan getting manager of the month once upon a time this Man. season. Whole city apparently doing well when they had 12 players. Everyone was like, oh, Phelan, you know, ex-Man United coach and all of this. He's been fired, I think. Fired three points from 27. You know, he, he has her gone. They have parted ways. Look at this. It says, it just says. <laughs> There's a couple, man. Terry Phelan <laughs> fired. Look at his face. He's like, <laughs> I got it. fired. Any Hull fans out there, just tell us what, what's going on in your heads if you are out there watching this show. I hope one of you is. A shout out to the mighty Lincoln City. Because Callum Bird says, please mention my team Lincoln City after we got a 2 2 draw. In the FA Cup after deserving to win the game, we took 4,833 fans. Not bad for a non-league team back on the up. That's good, man. That's how I like to hear. The I do like the FA Cup, though, man. There's oh, been some course. really, really cool stories, man. The FA Cup's wavy. Oh, there's some dons out here. Part-timers part -timers. really part -timers. playing. Postman. Just mad. Like, the gaffers are really, like, up for it. Like, they're, they're talk, yeah. so really, they're really, yeah, I think we, you know, we play some good football. And like, they've never done this before. BBC, yeah, yeah, they're yeah, yeah. gassed. Their whole family's watching them all. I think that is sick. Yeah, I love, like, what I love about those kind of games that come on TV then is there's, there's always that stadium. There's always those small stadiums with just, like, the oh shed. Oh, my God. And, like, the, the, the terraces. Like, you know what I mean? Sick. The roof of the stadium, you can just see it. And, like, past it, you can see, like, the co-op. You can see, oh. like, cows in a farm and a ball goes up. I love it when a ball goes over. Hey. Like, hey. That's the magic of the FA Cup. Hashtag magic and tell us your magic moment, your favourite magic moment of the FA Cup ever in your lifetime. Mine is definitely the Gerrard just show against West Ham. I Seriously, that even over Michael Owen against Arsenal? Oh, no, nah, Michael Owen against Arsenal because that's Arsenal's squad should have battered us. Plug! Plug! <laughs> really young the plug, really young the plug. Woo, woo! Okay, Cup of Night recently put on a football tournament for refugees in Northern France. We also made a film about it, which is out tomorrow. So check out our little trailer now and look out for the film. Pew, trailer.
Can we point to the camera and say, what, what a guy! guy! What a guy! What a guy, Deli Ali, six goals in the last three games, not even playing striker, helped with Spurs top Chelsea's 13 win streak. What a guy to New England Revolution winger Diego Fangundes for coming to my college to play football with me and my mates. I had a nice sit. What a guy to win any free quick guys, all-time score record to Bobby. It's a huge achievement and I think he deserves it. I hate all of the world guys this week, you know. I'm I gonna do. give what a guy to Manuel Reyes because for the New England Revolution winger to go, you know what, man, I'm gonna go play with those kids in their school today, like, and he just went and he played football with them. Yeah, like Deli Ali. Who's just bored. And Wayne Rooney, like, no. America's a weird place. Very weird. You, just, you know what? I'd love to go there again and explore it now under Donald Trump. Mm. But this week on social... Two twos. John Joe Shelby, the man with two first names. <laughs> um, he's on skates doing his thing. Repping. <laughs> Mike Dean he's born in was leading out his team <laughs> today. Hashtag celeb refs. And I love them when like the bubbles came out the other the other week. He was like, oh, what the fuck is this? Mike Dean's a weirdo, man. I hate Mike Dean. I Mike really, Dean, really hate Mike, Mike Dean. Mike Dean buys him. Oh, if he was in a Stanford prison experiment, he would have definitely beaten up people for no reason. Perlo kicking this ball though. I want to give what a guy to him. Just a quick what guy? Because he's pretending to kick the sun and it just looks sick. I don't know why I've never thought of this idea. It looks so ill, isn't it? And only Perlo could do that and be like, fireball, two emojis, fifty-three thousand likes, like. You know, it's a man of, that's just class. This made me laugh. Hand boys, pre the baby's hand. Look at the baby's hand. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a motherfucking hand boy. Ha, 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 I'm a motherfucking ha, hand boy. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> yep, that indeed is what we're on about. Hashtag hand boys. Hashtag twos, man. Let us know anything we possibly have missed on the socials and keep us up to date, cuz. We're a computer, improve our software. I want to know what the hell is going on. Two twos now, it's the remix. Yeah, it's another mad week of football. Uh, got the, 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 the Carling Cup or whatever the hell it's called in the midweek. Who's going to make the finals? It's the first legs. You got Man United against Liverpool. Hashtag magic. And just lips. Lips. <laughs> lips. <laughs>